hello hello everyone oh, welcome welcome to my channel my name is veronica steel and you're gonna share with llama b so today i'm gonna be real quick to show you what did i get it done and the what did i get it done that's the stuff that i'm gonna bring in for my um market fall festival um and this saturday so that's gonna be the last one for me this year and so far i've been enjoying to doing this and yes so like i always say you know just get your favorite drinks get your snacks get your whips this is really important get your whip your whips so i want you enjoying relaxing and crochet and just you know and have fun with me so um i have a couple things to show and so um, you know you like to leave a comment so i really really appreciate it now also real quick let me say thank you to all my amazing members that have been um stay with me and support with me in many many different ways and thank you very much again let me say again for all the emails messages that have been sending to me that you haven't missed me to go alive i know i um start next month i'm gonna be coming alive in my my um my regular schedule so you're gonna see already probably next week that i'm gonna be getting a schedule all my lives um yes so thank you very much i really really appreciate it but you're not my amazing people that means you're not gonna be my, my subscribers you know i'm inviting you hit the notification bell twice you know that way you can be part of the my amazing family so that way so enjoying the show and i'll be back <laughs> show you um i get it done this back so i think the last video that i showed you it was what that i got from joanne's amazon and hobby lobby and michael's so i created the bag right here this is the one the bags that i did it's nothing in here but it's in the front i love this design from the i mean the fabric design the fabric so um and this is how the look this not all completely this is just like i'm gonna say this is gonna like an experiment for me so i going to have i have something else in mind and see how they work but so far let me tell you this is the glue that i was using and this one right here my opinion for my opinion i mean <laughs> this thing is taking like i'm telling you it's 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 really really a strong glue so i had to just be careful with the details on the side that's the thing um but i have another idea that i'm gonna bring in um about this in my opinion it's good for a small project so yeah it's good for a small project because this one right here and i i did the apron and the bag and the glue is to start just right here you can see it how they how it is you see that right here so yeah it was a lot of glue and that i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna do it again but in a small project not in big one because it's a lot of glue and and this glue costs at least ten dollars but i use my 40 percent of coupon from michael so i mean it's less the money uh joan's they don't have it so i just want to get it but what do you think about the bag i love the bag now let me show you the apron the apron i have another idea now this stuff i'm not gonna bring it because this is experience and now because this one they say uh 
I mean, just real quick. I mean, what the instructions say. Um, this is, you, you can clean with, with soap and water, pre-washing and dry fabric. So, I mean, pre-washing and dry fabric. I mean, that's what the instructions say. Let me see. Y'all can see, but if it's not, well, I'm sorry, but that's what they say right here. So, I come to say, uh, after 72 hours, you can wash it and dry. That's what they say. So, in my opinion, I'm going to wash, but I'm not going to put it in a dry machine. Maybe in a cold or loaf dry so this is the apron that look like i love it, the fabric but now in this one it was mostly the whole not the whole glue kind of the glue that i was using but you can see the details is kind of like on the side and the corners you have to be careful with that so now if i'm gonna do like this again my opinion no but you know, I will show you how you can do it and everything. You know, if you want to do it, well, welcome. Um, yeah. So, what else? Oh, real quick, I was in Dollar Tree, and I found this cute box. I was with my friend, um, and we stopped in there and at the store, and I got this cute box. Well, I got two on this. I already put something in. I got this one right here. I always got this ones, but I we find these ones right here. And I got only two, but I'm probably gonna go back again and get it. This Dollar Tree is the one that I not shopping a lot because mostly they don't have anything in there. So she was telling me, she said I got this cute box for my um buttons and and tags. Oh, what they have. And she said, when I like looking for my tags for my stuff, you know, I just open and grab it and stuff like that and put it back because I can see what is in inside. I said, hmm, I need to find my tags. That's that's the thing. It was in the little in the, in, in the bag, but I don't know what exactly it is, but it's in the back. So they had three department containers and this one is what that you can find in this section. This one I find in the plastic section. No, 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 no. It was in the permit and this and the section all like um um oh my goodness what is it called um the boxes like a, you can organize and stuff like that. That's where you can find it. Not in the makeup not just on the and the in that section so because it's organized uh uh covers i mean it can be for cosmetic whatever but it's really good because you can see i can put my uh handmade items button my tags and and all that kind of stuff so i think this could be cute so i can have so different ones so i just grab this um the stuff that i'm gonna bring with me now um i had to fin i'm still finish at least uh, five more chickens. Um, get ready for before for tomorrow. Now, this stuff right here is a tutorial come that how you can create this one right here. So, yeah, stay tuned because the tutorial is already in my channel, but it's not in public yet. So, um, and I want to show you, you know, this stuff is coming with me, you know, so they can um hold the um i'm gonna say the maniki i get it is so this one right here and this stuff all the materials that i'm gonna explain all the materials you can get it in um dollar tree mostly the other material that like the, the stuff a couple things but you're gonna see what is you exactly needed um now let me start to show you i created these scarves and with the central machine and this is what that I did in the and the and connected, you know, and I put the button with the same kind of the fabric. I mean the yarn, the yarn, and just you can fold it like this. And let's see. 
and you can see the button is gonna be on on the front let me see that again i can get it let's see see something like that i mean you have to just fix it you know just something like that what do you think so yeah i mean if the person sounds something like that well you know i mean you have to be fixing the scarf and that way you know so i created one on this and this one's right here and here's another one here's another one and i put the buttons in here too that's the same and yeah so this could be the tutorial to comment so i can show you how you can do it super easy very simple now the things you have to get the central machine if you got it well good for you this one i did something different and i i making like a couple chains in here and the crochet and this one can be open just like that you know if the person they don't want it like that so but yeah so i did this way and this one is a little more small so super selfie yarn so this these three coming with me for tomorrow and i have and mostly all this stuff is already in the car i was just checking what i need to make what i need to bring so this is the stuff that i made and like i said i'm gonna make more chickens before before tomorrow because tomorrow there's the last day so those chicken they're super easy i got a tutorial there's a look the tutorial if i'm gonna show you the picture the link is in the description box below to this video i had a, a tutorial how you can do these chickens but first let me show you the jellyfish so this is the one of the jellyfish that i created and super cute super nice what do you think and I really love working with this yarn. This is the big twist yarn. Um, the big twist, but it's the call. Oh my goodness, where is the? Uh, I don't have the label in here with me. But I may show this one in one of my others, my other videos. Um, but yes, I love working with this yarn, and it's super easy, super soft, and to work with this because it's chunky size, bigger size. So and i like the color you know i think this is so really cute for for a boy or girl you know and the other one you already see made me making one of these i just created another one because the other ones it was sell out it was gone um my last um uh, my last festival um and also i got only one and it was in purple or fuchsia pink i think but i've created these two that's the same there's a big twist yarn and this one is the big twist yarn too so yeah i really love this one now the eyes for this one is totally different i decided to put it this one right here because i think it was much so perfect for the um for the yarn you know and it's kind of like a brown you know you can see so that's always so perfect so this is a big twist yarn so it was three um three jellyfish and i created two jellyfish and let me show you this one first um well two octopus three octopus one made it with this yarn right here and this is how they look my octopus now the eyes is totally different other size put it these eyes because you know what i said I don't know how we can use this one but yeah and this one is gonna be in a tutorial too coming out too and this one and this one is with the other one with the other um with the other yarn that i use see with the jellyfish i really love the eyes they're so really cute and this one it was my first one that i did and yeah so i had to put in the uh i forgot put it the mouse like the one is they have this one right here, but I we're gonna do it before I put it in a bag. So yeah, this is just octopus, crazy octopus. And um, this is the yarn that I buy from Hobby, I mean Hobby Lobby. 
um this one right here i created three one first let me show you this one it was an octopus you know with that light i really love this color i made one and two and jellyfish is something like that really simple you know something like just really simple and i love the colors so those coming with me and also also um i created a three and this one's three totals just like that and something like that super easy like i said all these um cute amigurumis or i call amigurumis because you still sew it and stuff like that um there's gonna be a tutorials too you know super easy very simple and yeah so i made one in this and this one here's another one two and three so they're so cute <laughs> so and um the other three that i made and that because i made it only that like this three six nine i think because i have the other one and still with the a cup i don't have a lot but i have a couple like uh the strawberry pineapples and the color if you see this pink right here or purple i don't remember but i have one of those um and and i made this one two and three right so and that color i love this color that's one of my favorite ones and i made it this one in blue and the yellow so yeah and three just like that so the last thing that I made it, and like I said, I had to make it more. Now, you're going to say, just making toys. I still have bags. I still have other things that I am not going to make it anymore. I mean, if it's not, if, if I see that it's not going, I'm not making it, you know. I just make it what is going like, you know. I mean, the toys. I mean, I make roomies. So, I made one and two chickens this is the chickens that i said that i had a tutorial i made two of these i made one of these but i had to make them some more because i was counting the um um the stuff over there in my i'm um, downstairs in my um dining room and i said oh no i had to make them some more and i got only i have more i mean i don't have no more yarn for this one and i can make it just only one so but also I had to make in two more because I have yarn and I can make in two or three more on this one. This one, it was the bomb. This one, it was like the crazy. The, a lot of kids, they love these ones. So this one, let's go the, the color they go first. So um, let's see what else. Mm, I think that's pretty much. I mean, this is how much I'm in crochet in a week. A week now. Monday, real quick. Monday, I go shopping with my friend, get some more yarn because this is the yarn that I. This is the new color that I use for for this time, and I had to get it something like this. I mean, something like this yarn. And Monday, I mean Monday, we did that one. We that that we go shopping and get the fabric and stuff like that. Um, and. Tuesday, I was not feeling like crochet. I was not feeling good. So I was just like, no, not today. I would just go just relaxing and stuff like that. So I'm not crochet. I crochet Tuesday and I start Tuesday evening, I think. So Wednesday and today, I mean, yesterday and today, I was just crochet. And this is mostly, I'm going to say Wednesday Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's the three days. How much I crochet in three days? Yeah. And also, I created a tutorial for um, this ones right here. So, how you can make in this. So, um, this is how much I did for this week. Um, so, I am so excited uh, that I'm going to be coming back again from my... Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, my son, he's been playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy if you got a child play video games you know what i mean so um but yes so this is how much i'm in crochet but i'm still i'm still making some more chickens at least maybe five or six more chickens and that's all that i'm gonna be crochet for tonight that is so that is so like 
one chicken i can i mean the body of the chicken i can create in 10 minutes maybe less than 10 minutes so by one an hour or two hours i'm gonna be get it done with the chickens turtles and like i said i'm not gonna make it no more turtles this is all that i have that i that i crochet and that's how they're gone um but yes so everyone i'm gonna say thank you so much and um i will um recording because this is the last the last uh festival or market sale that i'm gonna be attending for this for this year so i'm gonna be get ready and prepare for the next year because my next year my goal is attending more uh festivals most that i can now this festival is free i don't have to pay anything it's free you can go i already mentioned the person who is in charge with the with that is free that's just only you have to call and blah 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 and the business you know um but yes so um see you in the next video and yeah so don't forget give me a thumbs up and leave the comments what are you the stuff that you think that i'm making like i said there's a bunch of tutorials that's coming um you know not every week but yeah i'm working on those tutorials the only tutorial that i have right now is for this one for the chicken if you like to create that i have to make in the jellyfish the octopus and the turtles the way i the way i crochet the stuff you know uh the easy way for me so thank you so much everyone have a wonderful and beautiful and amazing yarn day and see you in the next video bye